Let's look at example C. Example C is find the vertices and the foci of the ellipse. This one uh, is not in the standard form. So what we have to do is both sides divided by 4. We need right hand side to be 1. Uh, you see the right hand side has to be 1. That's why we need to divide that by 4. If we divide every one by 4, then the right hand side is going to be 1. And then x, there is a coefficient of 4, 4 down below, so this will be 1. Huh? So x squared over 1 plus y squared over 4. In this case, what we have is down below y, the constant 4 is bigger than 1. Which one is bigger? Which one is A? You see, previously we looked at the ellipse in this way. And this is over A, this is over B. If you look at it in this way, okay, then this will be over A, this will be over B. The longer one always over A, uh, short one is over B. But you know, this will be Y, this will be X now. Okay, so you see, then the equation will be different. Okay, because here the major axis is along the y-axis, if we assume the vertical one is y. Okay, so down here, then we have a big number, 4 is over a, which is below y, no longer below x. Okay, so a is still 4, a squared is still 4, b squared is still 1, c is still a squared minus b squared, c squared, uh, that's 4 minus 1, which is 3. If we choose the square root, we have 2 for a, b for 1, c for radical 3, uh, radical 3 is, is c, uh, c squared is 3. Again, in this case, the big lambda is down below y-axis. So the ellipse is in the vertical direction. Okay, then you see the focal points will be like that. Okay, if this is y, then that will be what? That will be 0 c, and here will be 0 a. Okay, so down here, we then have vertices will be zero, positive, negative A. All right, and then we have a full C will be zero, zero, positive, negative C. That's the reason. Uh, it's because, again, the longer one is below Y, X, is and the y axis alone. Uh, okay. That's the reason these coordinates will be different. Okay. Zero goes first. Alright. This would be example three. And then let's do D. Uh, D also find the vertices and foci of the ellipse. For this one, you know, this is not really uh, a standard form. So standard form, if you look at that, look at our B, right hand side is always one, and then down below, uh, left hand side we have a complex square for x and y and then the coefficients down below it. So our goal is that for this one make y be complete square. But there is a negative 2y on the right, we need to move these two to the left. 
Uh, so both sides add 2y, and then you cancel positive negative 2y. Right hand side goes to be 0. Left hand side, you have a 25x squared and plus y squared plus 2y. Again, right hand side is 0. Okay. Now, you want to make this complete square. Then you need a constant here. What is the constant? The constant is half of this coefficient squared. So half here is 2 divided by 2, then squared. So here needs 1. If you add 1 on the left, the right hand side has to add 1. OK? That's the reason. Yeah, where is this 1 from? It's because 2 divided by 2 is 1 squared is still 1. Left hand side added 1, then right hand side needs a 1. OK? So add one on both sides, we get that. And this will be a complex square. y squared plus 2y plus 1 is a complex square, which is this, y plus 1 squared. And here is 25x squared. Right hand side is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. Huh. Now you know. Right hand side, we have a 1. That's good. We need a 1 on the right. Uh, that's the standard for. The left hand side, how are we going to handle this 25x squared? We got to flip down this 25 down to denominator. So then it's going to be like this. Uh, that's left hand side. Okay. 1 over 5 squared is 1 over 25 or 1 squared over 25 squared. And then if you flip 25 up, it goes back. Huh. Y plus 1 squared, you see downstairs there is a 1 squared. Okay, because 1 squared is 1, and 1 can be used as a denominator. Now, remember, x squared is x minus 0 squared. And y plus 1 is y minus negative 1 squared. Here it tells us the center is 0, negative 1. Oh, that's one thing. Okay. So that's why I wrote here the center is 0, negative 1. Okay. Now, look. Down here, 1 squared, 1 fifth squared. 1 is bigger than 1 fifth. So 1 is a. One fifth is B. Okay? And you see the big number is underneath Y, so this uh, direction of the ellipse is in the vertical direction. Okay? All right. So we have A is 1, B is 1 fifth. Then C is A squared minus B squared. Choose the square root. That's 1 minus 25. 1 over 25 square root and 1 is 25 over 25 25 minus 1 is 24 we keep denominator 25 24 can be written as 4 times 6 and then 2 can be out okay because 4 is 2 squared so 2 can be out 6 stays in 5, choose the square root is 5. So we have uh, AC now. Then we are ready to write down the uh, vertices and the focal point. Center, right now we leave it. And again, this big number A, 1 is bigger than 1 fifth. So the ellipse is in the vertical direction. Uh, if it's in the vertical direction, then we have vertical vertices will be 0, positive, negative A. And then for C will be 0, positive, negative C. Uh, now we add center 0, 1 to every point. Then we get the final answer, 
zero plus zero is zero, negative one plus one is zero. So zero zero is one of the vertices below it. Oh, here is above it, uh, on the top. And then this zero uh, plus zero, we have a zero. Zero plus negative one is negative two. Uh, so it's like zero zero here, zero negative two here. Vertical direction. Uh, now, now then down here is that we do the same thing. Okay, we have a zero plus zero is that zero. We have a negative one plus two raised to the six over five is that. Okay, and so is the case for that. So we got the final answer right here. Okay. So this is D. Okay. I'll see you next time with more examples.